Hello children, which marine creature are we meeting today? Let me give a few clues. They waddle cutely in their black and white tuxedo, slide on icy lands and dive deep inside the ocean. Oh yes, that's right. Let's meet the penguins. Penguins are aquatic flightless birds who spend most of their lives in water. Yes children, they are birds. Penguins have short feathers, they lay eggs and are warm-blooded, meaning they can regulate their body temperature regardless of how cold it is outside. Let's have a closer look at these fascinating creatures. Penguins have flippers instead of wings. Their flippers are stiff and short which helps them swim fast underwater. Look at them swim. It's like they are flying underwater. They are excellent divers and go deep inside the ocean. Penguins cannot breathe underwater. They can stay underwater for just 7 to 20 minutes to catch their breath, to save their energy and to increase their swimming speed. They leap out of the water in intervals. Such a clever move, isn't it? Here is another interesting fact about penguins. They have hefty, bulky bones which help them to be great divers and to swim deep underwater. Have a look at their legs. They are set far behind. That's why penguins walk awkwardly in a very upright position. They cannot walk well, so they waddle. Don't they look cute and funny while they waddle? Apart from being such amazing swimmers, they can cover vast distances on foot or even slide on their bellies across the snow. When penguins waddle with their feet or slide on their bellies, this movement is called toboganning. Penguins mostly eat fish. They also eat krills, squid, octopus and other small animals from the ocean. Don't they look adorable in their black and white colored look? Do you know children, this look donned by most penguin species is a clever camouflage called counter shading. Not all penguins are black and white in color. Some have distinctive colors and features on their heads and neck. Some have yellow patches and others have elaborate colored eyebrows. There are 18 species of penguins. The largest one is called the emperor penguin. It is about 4 feet tall, that's about half as tall as Christmas tree. Whereas the little blue penguins, the smallest species, are only 16 inches in height, which is about the height of two bananas. How adorable they look! Maybe that's why they are also known as fairy penguins. Penguins are found in Antarctica and Antarctic Islands, South Africa, New Zealand, Australia, Peru and Chile. Have you ever wondered how they survive in such cold weathers? Penguins have a thick layer of fat called a blubber that helps them keep warm. Their feathers are very tightly packed to make another cover. They also have a layer of woody feathers that are coated with a type of oil that makes them waterproof. Look at these adorable chicks. Yes, a baby penguin is called a chick. Their mommies are called hens and their papas are called cocks. The penguins take very good care of their eggs. The father protects the egg while the mother penguin goes in search of food. Mommies, babies and papa penguins stay in large colonies called rookery. The rookery eat, swim, hunt and nest together. Looks like one big happy family to me. Would you like to know how these birds sound? Penguins have a unique voice or call with which they find their partners and chicks amidst thousands of penguins. They live for 15 to 20 years. Climate change, melting icebergs and oil spilling in oceans are a growing concern for these penguins as they depend on sea ice for access to food and places to breathe. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. There are many more sea creatures to learn in this series. So keep watching.